We're going to bring in the professor now. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and I have to ask you, I want to mention some odds here. Uh, professional golfers have a 1 in 2,500 chance of hitting a hole in one. And if you watch sports highlights, you see a hole in one all the time. This asteroid has a 1 in 560 chance of hitting the Earth in 23 years. And that's according to some data from NASA. So that is uh, concerning because if you see a hole in one all the time from pro golfers, does that mean we're, we should be really scared about this? Well, the good news is, as you mentioned, there's only one chance in 500 or so that will actually hit the Earth. But the bad news is we are sitting ducks. We are defenseless. We have absolutely no way to deflect or blow up an asteroid with our name on it. Where is Bruce Willis when you need him the most? You realize that our capabilities are puny compared to an object that is half the size of a football field. This is a city buster capable of knocking out Washington or London if it were to hit the earth. And a nation buster, however, could knock out all of England if it were to hit the earth. For that, you would have to have an, a meteor, maybe let's say a few thousand feet across. And a planet buster, like the one that knocked out the dinosaurs, would be perhaps several miles across. So in other words, we are in the middle of a cosmic shooting gallery, and we're blissfully unaware of that fact. But you said we're defenseless, but we just had a mission where we were able to change the direction of a celestial body, or at least the natural orbit of one, for the first time in the history of mankind. Doesn't that mean we can do this with this and we have 23 years to prepare? Well, we took the first baby step with the DART system. By direct impact, it was able to nudge nudge an asteroid out of the way because the last thing you want to do is blow up an, a, an asteroid with a hydrogen bomb then you have lots of baby asteroids coming at you causing more damage than one big asteroid so you don't want to blow it up you want to nudge it out of the way and as you pointed out for the first time in history we took a baby step we actually pushed an asteroid out of the way meaning that in principle, this could be our major line of defense uh, in the year uh, 2046. Oh, real quick question, because we have got to go, but 23 years from now, how long do we actually have to stop this thing? So we can't wait 23 years to stop it. And that's right. Right now we have no plans, no plans in place to push this out of the way other than an experiment. That's all we did. The first baby step was an experiment, but we don't have an operational system. No operational system. In other words, we are sitting ducks. Uh, we got a couple of decades to figure it out. We hope we do. That's Dr. Michio Kaku. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.